Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial by the Magic Monk. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an HTML5 game with a program called Construct2. And the benefit of making a game in Construct2 and exporting it in HTML5 is that you can play it on your browser. So right now you can see that I'm playing this game live on my website. If you want to play it too, you can just type that address in right there, magicmonktutorials.com slash space. And if you type that in, uh, right now the website, the game that I have is just an airplane moving around on the screen. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this tutorial, starting from making the game to exporting it to the website. Uh, obviously later on I'm gonna show you way better features but right now just this and if uh, if nothing let's just get started so the first thing we want to do is download the program construct 2 so go to this website right here www.scirra.com slash construct 2 and what I want to do now is after you're in this website click free download and just click this download button at the top and that should download the program so download it install it and once you have done that another thing you will need is also down the bottom of the screen you will see a link under the title game assets free bundle so what this link tell, uh, gives you is a list of graphics that you can use for your game and graphics and sounds and all that stuff so unless you want to draw all of your own graphics you probably should download this um, but I'll let you guys handle the legal stuff on whether you're allowed to publish your game if you use all these free um, assets provided okay so download that and save it in a folder that you can remember so um, right now as you can see on my desktop I've installed the program construct 2 so there's a link that opens the program I've also created a folder on my desktop to store all the files related to the program construct 2 so all the assets I've saved uh, into this folder so the free assets are in this folder and you can see if you go into the sprites folder space shooter there's a lot of free sprites sprites is just another word for a picture really so uh, there's all these pictures that I'm gonna insert into my game later okay so I'm going to now open up the program construct 2 so double click on this it should open up construct 2 and once you're in the program uh, what has happened with this so just click that close window box and the first thing you want to click on is new project and just click new empty project now don't worry about the layout of uh, this window uh, I'm gonna explain everything as time goes on but basically right now your game is blank so there is nothing in your game so the middle window here is where we edit what is in your game okay so the first thing I'm gonna put into my game is the airplane that I showed you earlier so right click somewhere on your level and click insert new object now we're inserting a sprite right which I told you guys earlier is basically just a picture so we as soon as you insert a sprite however it turns into a pro it turns it into an object which you are then allowed to make it actually do stuff in your game so let's install uh, let's import a sprite and click and drag somewhere on your um, level doesn't matter where and click load image from a file okay click this to import the picture 
or if you want you can draw your own sprite so if you are really good at um, I don't know if you're really good at drawing spaceships you can actually I'm just gonna quickly show you how to draw one so if you're really good at drawing spaceship you can draw something right here uh, actually I'm not gonna do it so if you want to draw stuff you can otherwise control Z uh, and I'm gonna import a picture so load an image from a file and then go to the sprites folder that you um, saved earlier so I saved it under desktop construct to sprites space shooter so go into the sprites that you downloaded and inside the sprites folder inside the space shooter folder of the free bundle that you downloaded earlier I'm gonna double click on the blue uh, player ship so double click on that and what you want to do after you've saved it after you have imported it I mean you want to rotate it okay so click on this rotate 90 degree clockwise icon to make it face the right hand side because uh, if you make it face up like that um, it's not gonna work later when you are controlling it with your arrow keys so make sure it's facing the right hand side and then close it and you can see here it's automatically saved it's called uh, sprite right now so if you click on this object with your mouse on the left hand side is what we call the properties panel the properties panel where you can see all the properties related to the object so things like the name of the object um, what layer it's in we're gonna talk about all this in more detail later the position of it, the size of it, and a very important thing which we're gonna do right now is called behaviors. Behaviors just modifies how this object behaves. So right now the object doesn't do anything. So if you click the run layout button on the top left, basically what this does is it tests your game out. So if you click on that button right now it doesn't do anything you can press whatever you want on your keyboard you can click whatever you want on the mouse nothing happens because right now this object doesn't have any behaviors and there are no events programmed into your game so nothing is going to happen so the first thing I want to do is click on your airplane and I'm gonna click on behaviors click on behaviors and click this add new button inside your behavior window and now we're gonna scroll down to where it says 8 direction so under the section movements there's an icon called 8 direction you want to click on that click add so we've just added a behavior to this airplane so what does that mean well close the behavior window run the game again and you will see that you can now control this airplane up down left right okay really awesome so now there's behavior in this object and we're gonna modify some things like go to the properties panel change the speed of the object change the acceleration of the object so just test it out yourself change the acceleration to a thousand change the speed to let's say 600 run the game again and you can see the airplane is moving a lot faster and <clears throat> yeah pretty cool so now that we have done what we needed for this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to upload it on your website so the first thing you want to do is save the project so file save and right now I'm just gonna save it under my own construct 2 folder I'm gonna call it tutorial 1 okay I'm gonna save it you can call it whatever you want and then I'm gonna to go to file export project All right? export project and then choose HTML5 website and this is then going to turn your game into a website which is really cool so click next and then you want to export your files to a folder locally which you're then going to upload the whole folder onto the website so I'm going to save this under my website in a folder called space 
so this is the folder that I'm saving my um, game to exporting it to don't click on this minify script because that requires Java um, but uh, you don't need it anyway because the script is pretty small right now it's not like you have uh, a world world of Warcraft game or anything this game is going to be really small so you don't have to make it any smaller so click next and it's gonna export your game to that folder just click export here so successfully export it you can open the destination folder if you want and check that there's a file called index.html this all these files need to be uploaded onto your website so it'll be quicker to just upload the whole space folder don't try to run it locally on your computer because uh, it probably won't work you need to upload it onto a website and then view it live if you want to see it working so now I'm going to go to Dreamweaver which is the program that I use to upload my website if you're not sure how to set up Dreamweaver there I have another tutorial called set up Dreamweaver now you can see here on the left hand side this is my whole website and I have a folder called space so I'm clicking on that folder I'm uploading it so click the up arrow to upload the whole folder onto the internet and it's uploading it blah blah let's wait for it to upload so now the upload is completed go back to the browser and type in this address and hopefully it'll work for you guys okay thanks for watching guys see you in the next tutorial